the awards good gamers in this video i'm about to show you guys how to set up hair tracking for star citizen you do not need to be eye tracker or tracker or to make this work you simply need any form of webcam or camera and the lighting doesn't need to be crazy as well i'm gonna try and keep this video short and to the point and i won't dive in depth with uh, all the settings you guys pretty much need to just copy exactly what I have on screen, I will add timestamps to each segment. So without further ado, let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. So the first thing we're doing, go ahead and connect up your webcam or camera to your PC. So what you need to do now, open the launcher and go ahead and launch the cam. So once you're in, it's best to set this up in the Arena Commander. So go ahead and select the Arena Commander. Select single player, change classic race to free flight, and click launch game. Okay, so once the game is loaded in, go ahead and select escape, press options, and head over to comms and head tracking. So over here, you guys will see next to face where camera device, it would be the input of the device you connected, which would be your camera or your webcam. You can select any of those over there, but I would assume the first one is your actual camera. Um, face where camera rotation, no rotation. Face where enable, definitely want that enabled. So once you hit calibrate, it will bring up a screen. And as you guys can see, it tracks pretty well even with a poor webcam. And poor lighting, it really does well in those conditions. Uh, head tracking and general source that would obviously be face wear. Uh, head tracking general toggle enabled, yes. Uh, head tracking offset and cockpits, yes. Head tracking uh, auto recalibrate, yes. Uh, then these sliders can be turned all the way to zero if it's not already by default. Uh, turn all the way down. Disable while seated, so like no. Disable during FPS, yes. Disable during ADS, yes. Disable during Moby Glass, no. Disable during interaction menu, no. Enable rolling seats, yes. Enable rolling FPS, no. External view toggle enabled, yes. That's a big one for the people that likes to fly in third person and just move in third person in general. Uh, disabling inventory, yes, and use device offset, no. So I'm not going to go through all of these sliders, but you guys can pretty much just copy this numbers exactly the way it is. Um, you can even pause the video, I'll put timestamps in the video. Up until this one over here, which is head zone forward and back. So just copy these numbers exactly the way they are, and then once you guys jump into the game, you can get a feel for what these settings are, and then you can customize it to your liking these are my settings and these work for me they has been tweaked um, but you can customize it to your own liking so I know I'm not the only person that's been looking for some method like this and we all know we can't afford to be eye tracker and track R. so if you found this helpful in any way shape or form please smash the like button and even drop a comment down below and let me know if this actually helped you out or not um, I know there's a lot of you guys that know how to set this up, but this was just for the select view, like myself, I didn't know how to do this. But as always, peace and love, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.